Okay, we're in the Android version of Terraria and we're gonna follow just the same method as we used in the iOS one. Uh, but we need a different program, of course, and of course, uh, a fully working Terraria. So, you're gonna wanna need the program called Game Guardian, uh, and I would leave a link for it. Uh, a link will be in the description, uh, and of course, of course, your device must be rooted. No way to do it without root. Just remember it. No root, no Game Guardian. Okay, once you have Game Guardian installed and your device rooted, you can start editing, changing, replacing items, call it any ways you want. Maybe cheating, I don't know. <laughs> well, it is cheating, actually, but in fact, it's replacing the item. We'll see why. So, you have the Game Guardian fully working, uh, and you're gonna wanna go uh, into any character. I'm just going to create a random one just to show you that nothing was modified before or something else. Um, okay, just creating this one. Let's name him Guy. Uh, create a random world called Tutorial. I don't know. Just the first words uh, that came to my mind. Oh, what's wrong with this? Tutorial. Stop it, I just want to name this little world, finally. Okay, now we wait till it generates. And everything is so easy, it's just the same method as on the IS one, except it's not uh, in 32, it's going to be Dort. Uh, Dort type, I mean. You'll see right now. So pretty much you just spawned and you basically need uh, to any different kind of items as on the iOS version it's all the same so pretty much I can get uh, a wooden block you can follow my steps if you want uh, and I'm going to get a dirt block I don't need this acorn I just need two random items okay I can remove it to show you that I only need two of those uh, so I'm just selecting this uh, dirt block and I'm going to remember the slot I placed it to. So this slot is kinda in the middle, over here, highlighted yellow. I'm just going to remember this little slot. I'm going to click on it, highlight it as I did, so it's in kind of a yellow square. I mean the door block, and you just remember where you placed it. Now you open up Game Guardian, and it would probably ask you to select an application like this, I pretty much select Terraria and it's done. Then you click on the search button and you're gonna wanna search for two because the dirt blocks ID is two. So for example, if I had wood over here, I was going to search for nine. Well, let's search for nine, for example. So I'm searching for nine because I have wood in this current slot and wood's ID is nine. You can check it up in Terraria Wikipedia. So, uh, the type is Dort, as I said before, don't forget to change it to Dort. Uh, don't change anything else, except in the number, type the ID of the item you're searching for. Uh, it will give you many results, just ignore it, and this is the reason why we needed the second item. Now, I'm going to move the second item to the slot where the first one was. So I'm just gonna mm, replace them, just change their places. So I had wood in the slot and now I'm going to put dirt over here. And I'm going to search for two in this case because the dirt's ID is two basically. Clicking on search and I have seven results. This is just what I need. So in the slot we found all the IDs which are connected to it and right now we go back to Game Guardian click, click on this little uh, icon go back and click on this three dots uh, tap on edit all select it and right now you're not going to change anything except the number the number is going to be the ID of the thing of the item you want to get I want to get a Terrorblade, and the Terrorblade's ID is 757. 
So over here, I replace dirt, which is ID is 2, with the terror blade, which ID is 757. So I had 2 over here, because I found all the results connected with dirt. And now I'm going to replace it with 757 because I want to get a terror blade. I click yes. As you can see, all the IDs changed. Now go back to Terraria, pretty much, and you have a terror blade. Just click on it and uh, don't hold it. Just just like this, and you have a terror blade. But as you can see in the description, it's still kind of a dirt block because in the description it's a it's called the material and it's told that it can be placed. To fix this, you pretty much exit, go to the menu, wait until uh, the little circle disappears, so everything saves up, and then you exit to the main menu. Yes. Uh, and pretty much go back to the same character with the same world, wait until it loads, and you have the item you edited. In my case, it's Terrorblade, and as you can see, the description is its own, so it has 88 mm damage, and it's fully working. And we can check it up over here on some kind of a random enemy. Just going around. It is so easy, you just need a rooted device, and then, there you go. Hope I helped you guys. Um, I just want to show you that Terrorblade is actually working, but I think you understood because it has its particles and stuff. I just can't find any enemy to fight with. I don't know, no one wants to spawn over here. Just wanna show you, just wanna make sure that you understand that it's not some kind of a joke or anything like that. Alright, I noticed uh, someone. So we can try getting over there, just like this, creating this little stair, jump on, alright, zooming in, and jumping over here. And there should be someone. Where, where the hell is everyone? I just want to find an enemy. <laughs> alright, finally, there is this Halloween special slime. And we can kill it. And as you can see, it was 105 damage. And this proves that the Terrorblade is fully working. And uh, that this tutorial is not a joke or something. So if you do everything correctly, you get any item you just want. And hope you understand how it works. Uh, if you want to get multiple items in one slot, you just uh, place, for example, 32 ropes somewhere. And just change their IDs to anything else. If I changed these 32 ropes IDs to Terrorblades ID, which is 757, I would get 32 Terrorblades in one slot. So I would like have 32 Terrorblades, which I could sell later on. But uh, you understand if you try doing this, and it's not really hard. And I try to explain as best as I just can because I don't know if you don't understand this then I'm just really sorry because I tried to do my best uh, but hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to share it with everyone so all the people don't ask me questions anymore how do I get all these items sometimes when I make special maps for Terraria I don't use this method in my let's plays uh, but sometimes I need to get a couple of wires for special maps uh, like um, killing the dungeon guardian and stuff there are uh, many cases when using this but don't use this as cheating because it's not really interesting to play the terraria when you have all the items but sometimes just for fun with friends or anything else you can use it hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe that was me, Demir55, and see you in the next video.